as if we didn't already think that the Trump administration doesn't really, really care about making schools safer, but really cares about political posturing and optics and pandering to gun lobbyists. Donald Trump's top advisor, Stephen Miller, fell asleep during a meeting at the White House about school shootings yesterday. A bunch of governors went to the White House and Donald Trump spoke about gun violence at high schools. It was all a response to the Parkland, Florida shooting. And Jim Lascalzo, who's a photographer for the European Press Photo Agency, has this amazing series of pictures of Stephen Miller completely asleep, then waking up, rubbing his eyes, yawning, looking like he fell asleep, like in his living room, just watching TV, woke up and the president is giving a speech about how we're going to try to prevent little kids from being killed at schools. And as soon as I saw the headline, Stephen Miller falls asleep at Trump's speech on guns, I thought this has got to be absolute and total, very fake news. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, he's completely asleep in the picture. Um, <laughs> it, it actually occurred to me. You can't really prove someone is sleeping. All we can say is that he appeared to be completely asleep, but it's possible that he was pretending for some reason, like the equivalent of a petulant child expressing contempt for whatever their parent is doing. The only other possibility other than Miller slept through it is he was pretending to be asleep to show that he was mad at Trump for talking about gun violence or something like that. I was going to say something here, but it's dozing <laughs> off right now. When I worked at Circuit City, the body language that Miller is pictured exhibiting here would get you suspended, right? If you stood out on the sales floor during the workday with this body language, you would be sent home. Stephen Miller is a top advisor to the president, and he's sleeping at major uh, speeches by the president of the United States. And this is the normalization of what's going on, right? One of the top people right now guiding policy in the United States, who already is a totally unqualified 30 year old, slept during a meeting about dead kids and what gun safety regulations should be. Yeah, and reportedly Wilbur Ross dozes off from time to time at cabinet meetings. Oh, is that right? And Trump is not happy with that, so this could put Stephen Miller on Trump's bad side. <laughs> is that true? Everyone's Ross, falling asleep, apparently. Ross falls asleep issues, during that? Yeah. That's crazy. Um, I should really mention this as well. The other speculation about Miller has been drug use. If you remember that bizarre interview he had, I think it was with Jake Tapper on CNN. Yes. Uh, he, he seemed like maybe he was on the, under the influence of something, but it always seems like uppers, right? He doesn't seem like a downers guy, and sleeping is more of a downers thing. The only explanation would be he had been awake for three days straight on uppers, and then during this speech he was crashing, and that's why he fell asleep or something like that. Um, I don't know. Any, any silver lining here? Like maybe, <laughs> I don't know, sleeping is better than masturbating during the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, I'm just trying to find some I mean, some positive thing here. Probably better if he is asleep because <laughs> then he can't do horrible things, right? I, I, mean, I don't do know that if you're not conscious. That's true. I, I really don't know that there are any actual silver linings to the to, to the reality, the, the disgusting reality that a top advisor is sleeping at meetings about really major things. Right. The reason Trump was doing this meeting with governors and giving this speech is because we had one of the worst school shootings in American history recently in Parkland, Florida, and we're trying to figure out how the hell can we solve this thing. Just It's a comedy of errors. It's a gong show. I don't know what to call it, but it's not good, and the world is laughing. The video you just watched was made possible by support from you. Please go to patreon.com slash David Pakman show. You can make a pledge of as little as $1 per month. And every dollar helps to support the work that we're doing, particularly in light of the YouTube ad boycott, which has been really bad.